Good morning, Earthlings. We're in my kitchen today, and I'm going to show you how to make kombucha. Sorry, it's kind of dark in my kitchen, but I'll show you how to make kombucha. There's a bunch of water in there, and there's eight tea bags. You put a cup of sugar in there, but don't worry, it, uh, Scooby needs the sugar. This is the Scooby part. It's a mushroom and it feels kind of great. It feels fantastic. You're going to want to feel this. If you want at, you like afterbirth, oh now that looks a little bit like it needs some help. So then what I do is I take it out and I wash it and I kind of rub it around and see if there's any bad spots on it. You know, and then wash the jar. And then what I'll do is I'll keep about half a cup of the old kombucha this is getting pretty warm yeah I'll keep about I'll keep about that much of the old kombucha when the tea is cooled down pour it in make sure you get all the sugar in there because the Scooby eats the sugar and then you set it aside for about a week well you don't have to wait a week to start drinking it this is my kombucha from last time that's good <laughs> It's really good. If you use a really good tea, <laughs> it'll turn out really good. Oh, I tried green tea this time. I think the best that I've had was like a Lipton, kind of a real basic tea. Ah, I'm going to pop this in there. Whoa! Now you got to kind of stir it up a little bit or else it won't. What? <laughs> you wouldn't stir it with a measuring cup? I wouldn't do that either. Who would do that? Really? We, uh, we live in America where we can use a spoon to stir things. Ah, that's lazy. Yeah. Oh, sugar okay. in. I'm stirring it. This would be a very lovely time to have a cup of tea. Ah, I think I might do that. I got this teacup. It's English. And I'm going to pretend like I'm going to drink tea with Boris tonight. I'm going to tell him how to get into Brexit. It's going to be great. I think Boris is doing a bang up job. Wow. If you don't know what Boris Johnson is, you should. World leader. What's the most surprising thing you found about being PM? I was pretty incredulous the other day when I, I found out I couldn't actually get a, uh, a Thai curry and to deliver to number 10 because of the, of the security problems. The security there that was too tight. And on that subject, why are we having this election? We're having this election because basically uh, the whole political system is paralyzed and we have a fantastic Brexit deal that we did. Nobody said we could do it, but we did. And then Parliament uh, refused to, uh, to knock it through so that uh, we're, we're stuck in the, in the EU when we, the people voted to leave. So we need to have an election. Watch you, Boris. Uh, I'm in there with you. I even do my hair the same way you do. I don't know what it was about Boris Johnson. First time I saw him, he, he kind of looked like a sweet little idiot guy. And so, but he looked like one of my sons. So I thought, well, my family's from that part of England, isn't there? So I started looking into him. Brilliant man! So I started following him right when the Brexit thing. He became prime minister. I was excited. I didn't know what anything. I was enjoying it. And then all the election, he got the queen involved and all that. I thought, Boris, man. So I like Boris. I, like, <laughs> I do. What was I doing? I was going to have some tea in my cup for and think about Boris Johnson. Hey, <laughs> God rest the queen. Was it God rest her? Or God bless her? Long, oh, it's long live the queen. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you, yeah. I'm going to put this tea outside and let it get cool down. I hope the raccoons don't help themselves. I don't, do they drink tea? <laughs> do they have raccoons in England? Does Boris Johnson have tea with raccoons? I would if they came. You know me, I love my raccoon friends. That was so much fun. Anyway, I better get back to what I was doing because I, yeah.
<laughs> I was making a mess. Well, that's it. That's what it looks like in a gallon jar. And the Scooby is on the top doing its thing. Now, the Scoobies will replenish themselves so you can give them away as presents. Anyway, I like to pour it in a special glass. Mm. Mm. It's very easy and it's a great way to get something really healthy into your life. Anyway, until next time, please subscribe to my channel. I'll have more how-to things. Enjoy your kombucha.